All right, everyone, this is going to be a short video on my 1982 Honda Goldwing GL1100, which is right there. Um, for starters, I just want to show all the receipts and everything that I have on the bike on brand new parts, such as um, batteries, um, what do I got here? Um, I was for the trailer, um, trailer lamps. Um, oils, oil changes, um, labors from the front forks, my title and stuff. So I got a whole bunch of receipts on the bike on new parts. Um, this is the bike itself. Yeah, nice wide angle on her. It has the trunk, both hard side saddlebags, um, trailer hitch, all redone by myself. Um, Starting from the front here, let's go on this side. Both tires on the bike are brand new. They're Kenda Cruz um, highway tires. I got those off of eBay. Um, the brakes themselves are also new. The seals inside, the pistons, and the brake pads. Um, the rotors were turned once. The fender itself is fiberglass fender um, painted over. This bike used to be um, a maroon color, which was absolutely disgusting. And my favorite colors are red and black, so I repainted the bike myself in a red and black. Um, a lot of the chrome I had on here, I'm not much of a uh, maintenance type person. I like to ride, not spend a lot of time of cleaning my bike. So a lot of the chrome I had powder coated except for the engine there. Um, so the grill guard there is um, powder coated. The bulb in the front of the headlight was replaced and both blinkers. Um, the mirrors were also powder coated. The um, spread here underneath the windshield was not powder coated. That is actually just spray painted black and then um, lacquered over. The windshield itself is brand new. I cut that out of, out of a um, plexiglass piece from Home Depot, 20 bucks. Um, the old one was all uh, dry rotted and whatnot. Uh, moving back on the bike, I installed um, fog lights on both sides of the crash bars here which are controlled by a switch I put in up here. Always turn on. Um, and the crash guards themselves didn't come with the bike. I bought those off of eBay and had them put on. The engine itself, um, the gaskets on the headers here are brand new. I have one more extra one. Um, for some reason, I got a package with three instead of two, so I got one extra. The fuel filter right there is brand new, and all components in the carburetor are completely brand new. The carburetor was overhauled by myself. Um, I'll show you the manual that I got with it. Um, this bike, as far as the engine goes, is extremely easy to service. Right here is your oil check, plus underneath here you have an oil check. Your oil filter is right here. Um, all you do is unpull this, cap comes off, filter comes off, pull that plug right there, and it drains. Very simple. Um, spark plugs. Spark plugs were all brand new, along with these wires were all replaced and brand new. The fuel tank itself is a mock fuel tank. The actual fuel tank is inside of here. Right there is where the gas goes. Um, it was rusted inside, and I did reverse electrolysis on it and re removed all the rust inside the fuel tank, so the fuel tank is now pretty much brand new. Um, right there is the old uh, flasher for the light bulbs. I put a brand new one in there um, to accompany the trailer hitch and trailer. Um, air filter is brand new. There's your coolant for your um, engine. The engine is water cooled, it's not air cooled, so it runs um, not as hot as like the Harleys and stuff that are all uh, air cooled and it's very, very quiet. There's not a lot of rumble or anything, that's why I really like these Hondas. Um, coming up front here, um, these two switches are accent switches. I installed accent lights on the engine the front of the bike and underneath the chassis back here on both 
um, saddlebag. So the whole bike lights up red at night, which is really cool. And they only take four watts, so if you kind of want to show it off at night and just leave those on, it won't kill the battery. And also the battery, which is behind this cover, is also brand new. Um, here's your fuel switch on and off, reserve. Um, Corrosion on this bike, there really is none. Um, there is minor rust like this and that. As far as the aluminum is concerned, there's only light aluminum corrosion on the whole engine except for this header here on the top is um, starting to get through. Um, I got it priced to put, get those um, ceramic powder coated and it's only about thirty dollars so um, to change those out ceramic coat is a lot cheaper than buying new ones which are I believe around a hundred dollars on eBay um, say continuing on let's see uh, the mufflers here on both sides dual mufflers um, those were not powder coated but they were high heat treated paint um, works really good. I haven't had any bubbling whatsoever. 2,000 degrees is the uh, the rating on the paint. Um, saddlebags and stuff back here. Framing's all powder coated. Saddlebags are all painted. Saddlebags held on by two little latches there. Easily removable by four bolts to get to the wheel and everything. Um, shaft driven also this bike is. Another very good feature of these Hondas, um, there's no belt loosening, no chains to be tightened, nothing whatsoever. It's just uh, a quick put on with the shaft and easy adjustment on the back. The back of the bike, I have a custom built um, trailer hitch that I put on and there you can put a trailer light receiver on this. I had one on before. Uh, I took it off because I didn't really use the trailer a whole lot. But this box here also comes off. There's two keys here. Unclick those and this whole entire top trunk comes off. The trunk itself was rebuilt and painted. Here is my manual on it. This pretty much gives you a complete tear down and rebuild on the entire bike. Um, right here is where I did the um, carburetor system. I also inside here have the air suspension. The suspension on this bike is, hold on, air suspension on this bike, it's not springs, so you need this little uh, gauge here to fill them up and figure out what the PSI is. And also along with this bike is the original toolkit. This toolkit pretty much has every tool in it that you need to do basic and um, not heavy repairs, but medium repairs to fix the bike. Um, come on through, let's see, on the controls and stuff itself. New radio. I have no antenna for it, so there is no AM FM radio. I just run this wire to my phone, which gets plugged in here, and that's how I listen to the radio on Pandora. 42,571 miles. I got the bike with 34,000. Um, temperature gauge works, fuel gauge works, RPM works, neutral switch works, high beam, low beam, turn signals, all those are um, working. Only thing that doesn't work as far as the gauges is the voltmeter. Um, temperature gauge is a little bit on the higher side. It's probably about 10 degrees off. Altimeter, I don't even really know if that thing works. And um, clock. So let's see, I'm going to grab the keys here and just do a start up. This bike has always turned on on the uh, first start of the press of the button. Here's your high low beams, um, turn signals left and right, yada yada. There's your front beam. It's in neutral. Switch to new to uh, on position and.
As you see, it's that uh, first first press of the button every time. Just give it a little bit of gas. That's about it. If it's cool and needs to be warmed up, I also have a cruise control here, which I just give it a little bit of gas, lock in place, and that will warm up the bike. And then once it's done, unlock it. Um, right here is a cigarette lighter, which I use to charge my cell phone. A little spot for your wallet or whatever. Um, and the choke. The choke is right here. Being in Florida, I've never had to use the choke once yet, but there's a little trick to the choke. Let me shut this off. There is a little trick to the choke. Um, this little switchy thing right here, I don't know if you can see it, it's broken. Um, it came that way when I got the bike, and I can't seem to find a new one without buying a whole new carburetor. And basically, I just lift this level lever, which goes to the choke cable, and it pulls this side of the choke cylinders open, and just do that. Uh, that's pretty easy. Um, other than that, that's really much it. There's, as far as cosmetic, there's really no rust. Like I said, there's only rust like there. Um, ends of the foot pegs. There's a little bit of um, paint chipping there. And there's some stuff along here where it's gray, where the red didn't get, and some spatter, so forth, but nothing, like, nothing major. Um, that's pretty much all of it in a nutshell. If there's anything else that uh, you got questions for or whatever, just let me know. Um, so again, this is 1982 Honda Goldwing GL 1100.